We're riding here in an all-electric school bus in Beverly, Massachusetts. It's a very quiet ride. Uh, no exhaust smells. We have Sean Leach from Highlands here with us. I'm Mark Scribner from E&E. Oh, man. You have the solar array. These guys are trucking. I was here the day they unloaded the first boxes and they're already assembled. a couple questions, Sean? Please. So first, you know, talking about the driver, improved driver experience, and you talked a little bit about how the bus drives better, and she's going to demonstrate that right now. I imagine going up a hill, whoa, the performance of this bus is superior to a diesel bus, right? Yes. Uh, the power is available immediately, and however much the driver needs to uh, to do their, uh, their drive safely and efficiently. But yeah, the buses have no trouble with hills, highway, whatever you throw at it. Right. Right. So, so that's going to improve both safety and the driver experience and the passenger experience. Exactly. The buses have regenerative braking as well, which allows the driver to effectively do one pedal driving. So they're able to more effectively and more smoothly do their route and effectively never have to really use the friction brake, uh, which buys you more life out of the brakes. Uh, smoother ride for the driver, better work environment. The kids are happier because they're not being jostled around as much. Um, but no, we've gotten a lot of great feedback from all the drivers about regenerative braking and just driving the buses in general. Um, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's just a better school bus. You talked about the driving experience being improved, but also I, I, you were telling me earlier about how the fueling experience for the driver compared to a diesel bus is also an improvement for them. Yeah, I mean, depending on how the, the school district has it set up, uh, the drivers are often responsible for refueling their diesel bus. So they've got to queue up at the fuel depot, they've got to sit in line, idle, and then they have to get out, you know, hold the fuel nozzle in for five, ten minutes, however long it takes to top up the diesel. And uh, the whole time they're covered in diesel fuel and breathing fumes. Uh, whereas the EV bus, the driver does the route safely, backs in, plugs in, job done. Everything else is handled by our software platform to make sure the bus is ready for the next route. And we're, re we're returning back here to the bus depot where this bus also fuels right from a DC fast charging station that is bi-directional. It can send energy back to the grid. So rather than just sit idle in a parking spot, this bus can be charging back up for its next route or in the case where there's a, a peak event or, or a need for additional energy on the grid, it can send energy back to the grid from that same charging station.